now many of you in the chat uh, made reference to the PDSA, or Plan, Do, Study, Act cycle. And I'd like to start uh, our presentation of the Plan, Do, Study, Act cycle, which will be something that we'll talk about over the next many slides, over the several um, minutes of the workshop, because it's a central part of the continuous improvement process. It is one of several approaches that teams could use to engage in cycles of continuous improvement. And while there are other approaches, this process is one that we think you will find accessible and familiar to your own work. However, while we probably do this kind of cycle informally all the time, the task of continuous improvement is to engage in this work in the cycle formally, systematically, and repeatedly. So there are four phases, and the first is the plan phase. And in the plan phase, the team clarifies the problem and the aim for the cycle of improvement. During this step, the team will also define both what they intend to test, such as developing or refining a protocol or tool, and the metrics or measures for assessing whether they have met their aim, including both process and outcome measures. Here is where they ask, what will happen if we try something different? Tools such as the cause and effect, or what we call the fishbone diagram, and the driver diagram are very useful here, and we'll be introducing them in the next few minutes. During the do phase, the team implements the change. They try it, and they collect data. During the study phase, participants examine the data together and consider the extent to which the change is addressing the specific aims or targets for the cycle. Here they ask, did it work? For example, is the implementation of a new planning protocol being used by all middle school English language arts and ESSEL teacher teams? Is the data also showing increased engagement of EL students? Many of the examples that you brought up during uh, that last activity would be the kinds of things you would look for here. And finally, there's the ACT phase. And during the ACT phase, all that learning that was generated by engaging in the process, by doing the work and collecting and looking at data together, all of that is synthesized, and then some decisions are made. Here is where they decide what next. For example, is another